Hey yo, what is up guys, Akrish here, back with another video and in today's video, we'll be making a helium connected node. This helium connected node is an environment sensor. So we'll be learning about two, three things, basically how we can use the helium developer kit from Rack and we can simply make an environmental sensor hardware board without any soldering. Then once we connect this, we'll be connecting this to our helium hotspot or a helium miner. Uh, we'll be using a light hotspot today uh, so we are able to upload this data onto the helium console once we receive that uh, data onto the helium console we'll be using the integrations function and we'll be able to log the environmental data that's captured by the onboard sensor over here onto a google sheet and you can use this google sheet for making live graphs and things like that so if that is something that interests you stay tuned to this video I order all my PCBs from jlcpcb.com. They offer 10 PCBs for $2 only. They also offer quick turnaround time and 24 hour production period. To design a PCB, you can use Easy EDA and then generate Gerber files for your project. Now upload the Gerber files on jlcpcb and get your PCB manufactured for cheap. They are currently also offering discounts on shipping. So we looked at the Helium developer kit from Rack Wireless uh, in the last video. Do check that video out from over here if you haven't. Over there we basically configured a WizBlock baseboard or a WizBlock core and we connected it to the Helium console to send a hello world message. We'll be taking that a step forward today. Uh, by connecting a environmental sensor. So this is a sensor that's present inside the box as well. Uh, you just need to snap it on to port number A over here. There you go. Uh, you need to connect the LoRa antenna to the core board over here. And that's it. That's the hardware done and dusted. You really uh, do the hardware using the uh, whiz block it from rack in a couple of minutes. Uh, once that is done, you just need to connect it to the computer and the rest of the work has to be done on the computer. So let's move to our computer to configure this node and look at how integrations work and things like that. As always, all the relevant codes would be in the GitHub repository. First, we need to go to an Arduino file. Uh, we already have the Rack Wireless board and libraries installed. If you want a tutorial on that, last video is a good starting point for that. So I head over to the GitHub repository. I have this particular code. I copy this code and paste it onto the Arduino ID. So that's it about the code. We just need to fill in the uh, OTAA keys over here. Uh, so I move back to the uh, web browser over in Helium console. I go to devices, then I'll add a new device. I'll give this uh, name as environmental sensor and I'll click the save device option. So we have this device over here. I'll open this, then I'll expand my keys and I'll copy the keys. So I'll copy the device EUI, paste it over here. I'll copy the app EUI, paste it over here. I'll copy the app key and I'll paste it over here. And that is it for the uh, code over here. I'll quickly head over to tools, select the correct COM port and hit the upload button. So once the code is uploaded, you can go to the serial monitor and see if it's working or not, it sent a join request and we should be seeing the join request over here. So there you go. And uh, we see that the join has been accepted as well. So the LoRa part is working just fine. If I quickly open the debugger, I should be receiving the environment data as well uh, pretty soon. Uh, looking at the serial monitor. Uh, so this is the data that has went through. And if we look over here, we see that it says uplink confirmed. And this is the payload that's in the base 64 data format that essentially uh, comprises of all the temperature, humidity, pressure and gas resistance data. Uh, this is not really readable by our human eyes. So now the interesting and the incremental part comes into play and that is about integrations. Uh, in the integrations part, we need to add a integration and we would be looking at the Google Sheets integration today because we want to uh, log the data in an online version of a Google Sheet. Over here, we need to add a Google Form ID for that. We need to create a Google Form. 
uh, we'll create it as blank create four fields where the data gets logged so temperature we'll uh, change the data type as short answer add another field humidity this is also labeled as short then we have pressure then we have gas and that's it now we need to hit the send button we open this over here and then we copy this particular link paste it on the console uh, we need to clean this link a bit uh, we delete this particular part that is uh, anything after d slash e slash and we clean the last part of it and this is what we have that is the google form id this should be without any forward or backslashes then we click the get google form fields there you go so temperature humidity pressure gas these are the four fields and now we'll click the generate function with body we'll give this integration a name so we'll say environment logger and we need to update this particular uh, decoder function with our decoder so for that we'll head back to the github repository there we have a console decoder i'll copy this code over here and paste it on the zeroth line uh, once i have it over here i'll quickly double check the names of the second or the original decoder function that's temperature i copy this from here and paste it over here then there's humidity pressure gas humidity pressure gas uh, just make sure that the names are same uh, once they're same you need to delete this particular function that was the original function or the uh, default function that came in with the code and uh, we replace it kind of with the function that i copied from my github repository once that is done you need to hit uh, add integration button once you have added the integration button it will show different details and you need to connect this to the uh, environment sensor for that you need to go to the flows over here on the flows you see that there's this environment logger uh, integration that is uh, this one and there's a automatically created function which is the decoder function that is environ logger and we kind of need to connect it to our environ device so what we need to do is go back to the flow zone and we add a node over here from devices we do have environ so we copy this from here and we simply use the left mouse button to do this and we click the save changes button now once this is saved you can also go to the environment you can essentially debug everything from over here now to access the sheet where the data is going we need to go to responses and open the google sheet and create a new spreadsheet from here and we will be hitting the create button once that is done this is the google sheet that you see and this also has started logging the temperature humidity pressure and gas that is being logged by our arduino serial monitor as well so if you see the this this 8416 ohm there it is with the latest pressure humidity and temperature so this is how you can quickly connect your rack with block device to the helium console and from the helium console using the integration functions and flows you can display your data on online servers like a google sheet or you can even use other integrations like you can use the ub dots or you can use adafruit io mqtt or you can add a custom integration wherein you have a, your own mqtt broker like a reax one i did a video on the reax mqtt broker previously do check that out from the i button over here at the top you can also use your apis uh, you can add endpoint details wherein you can post request get request put request or a patch request you can enter the url the http headers the values etc so it's a pretty interesting a uh, functionality that you can use and not only see the data over here but also connect it to a flow and in general helium console is something that's developing day by day you get a you get 10000 data credits in the initial for free as well so you can kind of start earning hnt 
uh, when you transfer data on your miners or on your uh, data only hotspots as well so that was it for today's video in case you want to check out how we made the data only hotspot how we programmed it using gateway rs do check out this video that i have done previously in case you have any other project ideas or other integrations that you would want me to make tutorials on do let me know in the comment section below as always the github instructables and all the relevant links would be in the description box below do check them out as well thanks for watching subscribe to our channel if you haven't till now also hit the bell icon to stay notified this is our first signing off